My name is Molly Lemon. I'm a printmaker living in the Cotswolds and I specialise in wood engraving. Um, wood engraving is a technique where you work in, on to end grain wood um, to create your design and then you print it. I print mine on a miniature Albion press. This is a block I'm working on at the moment. Um, it's only 12 centimetres in diameter but as you can see you can fit a lot of detail into a small area. Um, that's really why I love the technique. Um, I work quite fast as an artist. I'm quite impatient so wood engraving really slows me down. Um, and I just love the detail you can get. I work in my studio full time with my dog Winnie who is nearly always asleep on my lap. Um, and I'm inspired by nature and the landscape surrounding me. Um, I grew up in Devon, just on the edge of Dartmoor, so um, I'm really inspired by uh, that landscape. And also now I'm in the Cotswolds, um, the landscape here is beautiful too. And me and Winnie are always going for walks and getting inspired and sitting down and doing engravings and drawings along the way. How did I get into art? I've been making art as long as I can remember. I, met, I remember at primary school, I'd sit down and I'd make, I'd paint about four watercolours before going to school and I'd do the same when I got back. I've got books of watercolours um, from when I was younger. And I got into printmaking when I started um, A-level art. Um, and then again when I studied um, on my foundation course um, and I went to uni and I didn't do much printmaking I uh, went to Winchester School of Art and I did a lot of animation, performance art, installations but I didn't do too much printmaking there um, I got into wood engraving when I graduated I'd been working as a picture framer for a couple of years um, and I got the opportunity to go on a course um, for wood engraving to learn from Ben Goodman who's a wood engraver in Bristol where I was living and just the first engraving I made I felt like I, it was better than any drawing I could do and some techniques take ages to learn to do and to get into and I felt I took to wood engraving straight away. I think because I have a lot of experience doing lino print it's a similar principle and you're taking away the lighter areas um, to create your image so I think that really helped me getting into it and since then I've kind of been addicted to the technique I just loved it I just love engraving um, if I could do it all day I would but it hurts your hands if you do it all day um, yeah, I'm just so pleased I found it and I feel really lucky to have discovered this technique because there aren't a lot of printmakers practicing wood engraving um, and I just basically stumbled across it um, and yeah, it's changed my life because it led me to leave my job last year and um, take up printmaking full time. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really brilliant technique. There are a load of uh, great things that come with being self-employed, one of which is being able to work from home with your dog on your lap and just make what you want to make that day. Um, I also think a great thing about what I'm doing now is it's bringing me um, confidence because I've never been that confident but I feel like I'm going to show my artwork to people, meet loads of lovely people that um, really appreciate what you do um, and I guess I would never really put a picture of myself on social media but I share my artwork a lot and through that I meet loads of new people and loads of artists uh, sharing techniques and sharing skills I just love that side to my job The hardest thing about what I do is, I guess, not knowing how much money is going to come in each month. Um, that can be worrying. Uh, I guess sometimes it dictates the artwork that you make. 
Um, I, but I love making prints of nature and landscapes and people seem to love having them on their walls so it does work for me. Um, but I guess if money's tight, the stress can kind of stifle any creativity you might have because you're just thinking, how much money am I going to get? Because um, without making money, you can't keep making, uh, at least not full time. So there's a lot of pressure um, to make sales. As a um, wood engraver, I'm inspired by people like um, Peter Buick and Thomas Reddick, uh, who created amazing prints in their lifetimes. Thomas um, Buick invented the technique back in the 18th century and yeah I just love looking at their work and seeing the marks they make and how they how those marks uh, create different effects um, and I love being on Instagram because every day people are putting up new prints and paintings that they've made and they never fail to kind of spark a bit of of an idea or some inspiration I think um, that's why social media for an artist is so great sharing ideas and techniques and kind of working together um, it's yeah invaluable really mm -hmm.